Hello everyone, Marcus Small here from thesmallman.com. Right, today I'm going to show you how you can sort data automatically with VBA. So we've got this list here, it'll be no different to the sort of list that you've got. It's got data, it's, it's got layers, so we've got months, we've got categories, we've got payment types, and we've got some numerical information. Or we might sort the data in ascending and descending order based on column M, yeah? So let's go into the Visual Basic Editor and get this process started. So we'll press Alt F11 to go into the back end. Now, if you don't already have it, what you need is to insert a module, yeah? I've already done that. So we create a subroutine. So we say sub, and we'll just call this procedure sorted, yeah? And press enter. And now what we want to do is we want to create, and I'll just go back into Excel, Alt F11, Control Shift 8. We want to create that current region, yeah? So we want to create that with code so it traps our block of data. So I'll press Alt F11, and then we'll choose a cell. So I'll choose cell A2. Yeah, and then I say dot current region. All right, so that's the current region. Now I want to take the next row down. I want to like move it offset one by the heading. So I'll say dot offset, and then I'll just offset one row. That takes the headers out of the mixing pot. Now in VBA, the object hierarchy goes workbook dot worksheet dot range dot action. Now we're up to dot action, yeah? So we've done our range and the action that we want to do is dot sort, yeah? So now we just have to understand the syntax of a sort and it's sort, where do you want to start the sort from? So if we press Alt F11, we want to sort, start the sort from right here. You exclude the header row, so we start in the next row. So we want to start it from M2. Alt F11 to go back and then square bracket, M2, yeah? Now, uh, we type a comma, and if we had access to IntelliSense, it would say either Excel Ascending or Excel Descending. So we might just go for Excel Ascending, yeah? Excel Ascending. So it will sort. Now we click on the next line, and the A gets capitalized. Now it should sort column M in ascending order, yeah? So I might just uh, minimize the screen. So we'll just manipulate it so we can see our data set. We might lose some of the code. I'll just manipulate it around a little bit so we can see, yeah, that's, that's about right. Okay, so we can actually see what's happening here, yeah? Because that's where the rubber's hitting the road, over there in column M. So we'll press F8 to kick this bad boy off, F8. F8, now this is where the rubber hits the road. This is where we want to see these numbers go in ascending order. And we'll press F8 and bang. They start at 268 and they end at 13,000.3. Yeah, 13.3K. Yeah, so that is how we sort data in ascending order. If we wanted to change that from ascending to descending, we just change this word. Ascending becomes D-E-S-C-E-N-D-I-N-G. Yeah, okay. So that then allows us, if I just move this down just a little bit, to F8 through this procedure. Now we should flick our list upside down, yeah? F8, cool, there it is, upside down, cool. All right, so that's how you create a sort based on ascending or descending order. This part's the key, you've just got to get the trapping of the range Perfect, yeah? And it doesn't matter, like, you know, if there's blank rows at the bottom because it'll sort in ascending and descending order, yeah? Now, uh, let's say we wanted to extend that range. Or let's say you said, oh, yeah, Marcus, so I, I want to sort by, say, channel first, yeah? I wanted to sort by channel, and then I want to sort by column M, yeah? Well, what we do is I'll change the code just slightly. Now, when I've got to uh, create a multi-level sort, I'll just... I want access to IntelliSense, yeah? Now these square brackets, they're great for shortening code, but they kill IntelliSense, so they're IntelliSense killer. So let's get this into an IntelliSense creator. We'll put the range in, open bracket, you see, look, IntelliSense has already come back into the party. So just remember that, square brackets kill IntelliSense, yeah? Okay, so we open bracket, close bracket. You might be asking, well, why would you even use the square brackets? It just, if you've got a range, you're hard coding it. So I've hard coded this range, yeah? 
Um, if you don't need IntelliSense, you've hard coded it writing uh, range, open bracket, uh, quotation mark A2, close quotation mark, close bracket, and you've hard coded it writing this A2, close bracket. So look, I don't see the difference. If you don't need IntelliSense, you're still hard coding the range, yeah? All right, so that buys me IntelliSense, all right? So now over here, what column are we looking at? So we'll Alt F11, we're looking at column G, yeah? Alt F11, so I'm going to say I want it to start in G2, yeah? And then I want that to go in descending order, and then I type a comma, and look, IntelliSense comes to the party, yeah? It's because of the way I started this uh, line of code. Okay, so it says key 2, so that's the same as G2, except I want a second column in the mixing pot, and I'll go square bracket M2, yeah? close square bracket, comma, IntelliSense is still playing ball. Yeah, it says type, you can comma straight over the top of that, it's not needed. And then we can say, okay, what do you want it in, ascending or descending order? So I've got the first range in descending order, why don't I put this range in ascending order, yeah? Okay, so now we've got two parts of the equation. So I might just minimize this. All right, so we should see, let me just make this a different color. I uh, might make it a lot different, green and green. So these are the two columns we've asked it to uh, sort in descending and ascending order. All right, so let's run through that code. So we use F8. Well, let me just make this a little larger. You can, I'll show you after this. Oh, look how long the code is. I'll show you after this uh, how you can actually shorten the code. So I'll just leave it like about that. Actually, I might make it a little longer so you can see every word. All right, so let's press F8. And F8, rubber on road here. So this one and this one. F8, hashtag kaboom. Look at store. Goes from 4, I'll get this right out of the road, 4 to 13.1. Online goes from 2 to 3.6K. Mail goes from 6 to 8.8K, yeah? So, basically... What, we, what, what we've done is we've sorted on multiple levels, yeah? Now, if you want to sort of take the advanced lesson, what we can do, these numbers here, ascending and descending order, and this is just, you know, for bonus points, right? These can be changed to numerical numbers, yeah? This is the second item in the list, and this is the first item in the list. So if I type that and go X, oh, IntelliSense is not helping me here. So let me just control Z that. And I'll see if it doesn't help me here. So we'll go comma. Yep, it does, comma. Right, see this ascending? That's the first one, yeah? So we can go one, yeah? And that means descending is two. So we can go two. Now, if you're going to do something like that, you want to tell people what you're actually doing. One is equal to A-S-C-E-N-D-I-N-G. And then two is equal to descending. Yeah, and just have that as commented text. So someone looking at it knows, oh God, okay, I understand what that is actually doing. So we can test the veracity of it. Well, why don't we change these around? So we'll say one and two. So ascending for this list and descending for the numerical data. Yeah, all right, so let's have a look at that. So we should change our, our, um, the way that this uh, list is structured now. So we'll press F8 to kick it off. F8, F8, this is where rubber's on road. F8. Boom, all right, so basically it's now male, starts at the high number, ends at the low number, right. That is a swift tutorial on how to do a sort with VBA. There's heaps more tutorials on my website, guys. Have a fantastic day.